Hey guys, let's do a FNAF toy on in Hot Topic and see what FNAF merch that they have. Okay, so I already called, so I already know these are here, and they definitely have them. If they have, and here they are, the brand new Five Nights at Freddy's Ruined Eclipse plushies, and they have all six of them, which are absolutely incredible. Look at the ruined tags. They have all six of them. Oh, these are so cool. Oh my gosh. Looks so they have both of them. All oh, the metallic printing. Okay, so we're gonna buy all these, and then we'll take them home and unbox them and give them away in this video. Also, pause super fast right before we get into the review of all these and special giveaways. Please go check out my brand new Five Nights at Freddy's Plus channel called Puggos Plushies. The link to this channel will be in the pinned comments. If you like watching SML, Slide Pie, Gabe's World, and other FNAF Plus YouTubers or any Plus YouTubers, definitely check out this channel. It's so funny. And in case you guys don't believe me, here's some super funny clips from the channel. But, but. What is that? <laughs> what is the thing? So, if you guys thought that those were funny, please check it out in the pinned comments in the description with weekly uploads on this channel, and I will also be continuing this channel. So now, let's go, uh, let's go check out these new ruined plushies. So, we are now back home with all of our brand new FNAF plushies, all eight of them. So excited to review- Oh! Oh, no. Oh, I forgot to clean up the desk. Ugh. Oh, I hate cleaning. Ugh, alright, I gotta put away all these Five Nights at Freddy's action figures, so uh, let me clean up super fast and then we will unbox uh, all these plushies. So you'll see this desk clean in... Boom! Wow, look how clean that is. Awesome, yeah, it took me a while. So, let's take a look at these brand new Five Nights at Freddy's plushies and oh my goodness! Is that all of them? Oh, wait, I think I'm holding on to one. There. That's all of them. Wow. Look at- look at all that. Look at all these. So I went to Hot Topic, and they said, oh yeah, we have six of them. So I thought they would have six of the same ones. But they in fact had one moon, and, uh, a bunch of suns. So I have a whole bunch of suns, and we have one moon. Oh, awesome. How many suns do we have here? We have one sun, two sun, three sun, four sun, five sun, six sun, seven suns. Awesome. As well as some very special items that I got to give away in this video because it, people were like, Oh, I want, I want the, the Funko never made the mimic. And I found this at the store at the Brad's Toys and Collectibles. So I'm like, Oh, let's buy the mimic. So I'm also going to give away a mimic in this video because it's like every, everyone loves the mimic. The mimic's awesome, but Funko never made him as a plushie. So now let's take a look at both these plushies and, uh, and give them a nice little review, shall we? So we have them all set up here and my very first impressions is these plushies are really disappointing. Yeah, these are the very last Five Nights at Freddy's Funko plushies that Funko is ever making. They're never making them again because if you saw my video, they lost the license. And well, these are their very last ones. Out of every single plushie, we got basically two of the exact same plush. These are the same characters. It's so lame. We basically got one plushie. I see these as exactly the same. They, I mean, look at them. They're like... What? Identical? Lame. This sucks. I, I'm really not a fan of these. And, I mean, they're good. You know, they're good looking plush, but out of everything, like, they didn't even bother making Ruined Chica, Ruined Roxy, or the Mimic, or any other characters. Which, which is sad. I just, I can't believe that these are the very last Funko plushies we're ever getting. It's these. I can't, I, I, I'm at a loss for words, so let's check them out, let's, uh, they look the exact same, so first, let's check out Sun, um, I see this is the official normal one, uh, this one looks a lot more game accurate to me, um, just because all the, the cool ruin details, so I don't really see him in, as even a character much, uh, he's really cool, I really like his little endo legs sticking out, like, these plush are really high quality, I can't believe, th they're awesome, they're super high quality, I just can't believe these are the very last ones we're getting. So, I mean, look at the leg, it's really cool, all the withering on his pants looks awesome, I love all the details, I love all the, the little things coming out, I think that's really nice, I like, all the little, look, all the little zippy zaps coming out of his arms, it's really cool, coming out of here, the tag just says security breach rune, it's a pretty normal FNAF tag. 
Look at that. I love all the holes in the withering. And even though it's printed, uh, I understand because of how detailed it is. The back of him looks really cool. They finally changed this material on the back of his head. So it's really soft now. It's so soft to touch the back of his head. Uh, the hat doesn't really make any sense. It's just a, a blank hat. It should have been this hat. Uh, it's just a brown hat, which is kind of weird and random. Uh, the sun shines don't work the best. They fold in on him. But the ones that he does have do look really good. I love this detailing on him. I love this little metallic look. It's really cool. It's really nice. I like that. I love... His face is definitely the best part about him. Even though this side's printed, um, I... I understand that it has to be printed. This looks really cool. So I love the teeth looking through here. That's awesome in this part. And all these ruined details are so cool. I love the embroidery on his face. How both eyes are actually embroidered. Both eyes are embroidered, which is awesome. All the little cuts on the little sides of these. Look at this. Uh, this eye and all the details on him are really nice. Oh, the details stop at the top of the hat because they know you're not going to be looking past that. And honestly, yeah, I mean, I, I think he's I think he's good. He's a good plush, but for the very last... Um, it, it's sad. It's very sad. For the very last FNAF plush ever, um, it's really disappointing. It's really disappointing compared to the classic Freddy, Bonnie, Shadow Freddy. This is all we get, you know? So, taking a look at Moon, I mean, yeah, he is nearly identical. So, the changes are the pants. Um, now, it's ripped halfway through the pants to show the Moon pants, and this part is Moon pants as long as here. The torso, he does not have any of the cool pink details on him either, which sucks. Uh, these hands are just blue now, and they don't have any cool pink details. Right here, you can see. Oh, I'm yawning because these plush are boring. I'm bored by them. You bore me! It's boring. Uh, yeah, the hat's nice, I guess. Doesn't even have the dangle on the end. Um, it's the exact same one. The back of the head's soft, like I said. Uh, the sun rays are a little bit different color, and the eyes on a different side with no details. It's so disappointing. Yeah, it's him. It's Eclipse, and I bought a whole bunch of them. Look at all these Eclipses. Wow, awesome. I'm so glad that these are the very last FNAF plush that we're ever getting. I mean, come on. Look at these. Compared, right? I mean, yeah, they're good plush, but, like, compared to every other FNAF plush that we've ever had. Really? These are the very last ones? Oh, it's sad. Look at them. Look, here is the very first FNAF plush, Freddy Fazbear, and the very last one, Ruined Eclipse. Which sucks, there's so many characters that they never made. They never- Funko's never gonna make the Withers, they lied about that. Puppet Steve is a liar. Puppet Steve lied. They're never making the Withers because they literally can't anymore. So, if you guys ever want the Withers, you guys have to get them from Xsmart. But, yeah, I mean, look at this. First ever FNAF plush of Freddy Fazbear. He was nice, he was cute, he looked really good, he was a perfect Freddy. And then we had a whole bunch of garbage waves, like recolors and a whole bunch of other crap that Funko kept making, like even tie-dyes and balloon circus, a whole bunch of garbage that I wish they made good characters and not this- Oh my god, I hate these so much because these plushies replaced what could have been what? Nightmare Fredbear, Withered Bonnie, but no, they decided to make garbage balloon circus, make stupid tie-dye merch. Now the very last plush we have is ruined clips. Yeah, I mean, he's cool. He looks good. You know, here's him compared to, uh, normal son. Yeah, he's nice. He's cool, I guess. Um, but it's disappointing. It's disappointing. Look at this. We're never gonna get really good plushies like this again. Golden Freddy, one of the first of the first waves. He's never coming back. Classic Freddy, never coming back. Even the jumbos. We're not getting any more jumbos. Look at all this. It sucks. And this is the last one that we get. Ruined Eclipse. Not even Ruined Roxy and Cheek. If it was Ruined Roxy and Cheek, I think that'd be cool. Because they're really cool characters. Throw the Mimic in there, or Mexes, something like that. You know, like the original Good Plushies, but no. They only- they decided to only make Eclipse. This is all they made out of every single plush. Which is so sad. If you noticed, every single Funko Wave kept getting smaller and smaller. The biggest wave we ever had was Wave 2, with all the Wave 2 characters. All the incredible Wave 2 FNAF plush. This was the biggest wave we had, and since then, every wave kept getting smaller and smaller and smaller, until the very final wave we got was two plushies. And what? And they're just recolors of each other. So I'd say basically one plush. We got basically one plushie, which sucks. In the very last wave of, of FNAF plush, one plushie. I mean, look at this. We got one, and oh wow, oh, in a blue color. We got him in yellow, and we got him in blue. Oh, that's so awesome. I'm so happy that this is the very last FNAF plush ever from Funko, which is sad. It's a little sad if you think about it. So, I mean, what do you guys think of these very last plushies? Let me know, and uh, let me give them away, because I don't want them. I don't want all these, and I don't want the Mimic. I already have the Mimic. The Mimic's up there. Look at him. What? Oh, where is he? There he is. There's the Mimic. All right. So, real Puggo fans, you guys know how to enter into the giveaway, so I'm keeping these two, and I'm giving away six suns and a Mimic, because 
you guys, because the, the Mimic never got a plush, which sucks. We're never going to get an official Funko Mimic plush. So, how do you guys enter to win all of these good old Sun plushies? One, two, three, four, five, six, and a Mimic. All you guys have to do is the three classic simple Pogo steps that everyone knows and loves. All you guys have to do is like the video, subscribe to this channel, and leave a comment saying you finished all three steps. And then I will enter you into the giveaway to win one of these free Suns completely for free. I think it's really strange that Hot Topic just had a whole bunch of Suns. Like, that's really all they had was just a whole bunch of suns just a sun and a sun and a sun they told me they had a whole bunch so i was assuming three suns and three moons but no i bought these off the funko website so i'd get them in time and these guys i just went into the store to pick up and i'm like oh wow awesome they have a sun and 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 they have a sun oh and what's the very last push they have <laughs> i wonder oh wow it's a sun it's a sun <sighs> which is disappointing, but because Funko lost the license, if you guys want some good FNAF plushies, uh, the classic Wave 1 plushies are restocked everywhere. You can buy them on Hot Topics website, buy them on Box Hunters website, buy them on Funko's website. You can buy them anywhere. So go get yourself those classic Wave 1 FNAF plushies before they are gone forever because Funko needs to get rid of all their stock. So look at that. If you want the classic, the beautiful, original Wave 1 plushies, which I know you do, uh, then make sure to go onto Hot Topics website or Funko's website, Box Lunch website. Go anywhere you can to get these Wave 1 classic plushies. Not not these eclipses because they're all right you don't really need them for your collection but get those classic plushies for your collection for only like 10 bucks a plush which is why you could get them in stores in 2016 so i really hope you guys did enjoy this quick little video we have a big old one star fnaf review merch coming up this saturday and of course this saturday subscribe to my brand new five nights of freddy's plus channel if you have not please go subscribe there's gonna be weekly uploads on there and yeah that's it for this video i really hope you guys enjoy and i will see you all later good bye